Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this video we're making pizza. But that's not really the whole point of the video. Part of the point of the video is a kit we sort of put together to be like a portable stove oven type thing. Let me show you what we put together. And we purchased all these items. None of these are paid promotional products. This episode is made possible in part by generous supporters on Patreon. So first up, is the Gas One single burner stove. It puts out 100,000 BTUs, runs off propane. We're gonna be doing a full video review of this burner in the future, but I'll just hit the high points. It comes with a regulator. It's about 16 inches square on the top. It has adjustable legs in that they are two parts. So you can have it high like it is here, or you can take off the bottom portion of the leg and have it sit just a little bit lower. The next part of our portable oven stove is a Lodge cast iron baking pan is what they call it. It's 14 inches in diameter on the inside lip and it has two handles on either side. It comes pre-seasoned. And it fits perfectly in the top of our stove. The third main component of our pizza oven is a Cuisinart 12 and a quarter inch round melting dome. It's completely stainless steel, including the handle on the outside. It's just under four inches high. So in keeping with making this three piece kit portable, we purchased two bags. One holds the Gas One single burner. It's by Camp Chef. It is made for Camp Chef single burner stoves and everything fits in there well. And then for carrying the griddle, we purchased another Camp Chef bag. Camp Chef makes this for their medium sized griddles. And it's a little big for this, but it still works really well. It's a very durable bag. So it fits fine, but you can fold over a whole side for it. So let's make some pizza. Four fifty. Four fifty eight. Four sixty. Still going up. When I put the first pizza on and the dome barely covered it, I was kind of at a point of no return. I wanted to see how things would work, but knew that it probably wasn't going to go well because it went all the way to the edge, but I didn't want to waste all that effort. 
So I thought, go ahead, give it a try, see what happens. <laughs> At least it's starting to cook. Still doughy on the top. Dang it. Smells noticeably burned. The crust is very done. It's doughy, but it's done. But the bottom is crispy in spots. But not as bad as I feared. So, first time making pizza in this configuration. First time making this pizza crust, and it came out much thicker than I expected still quite hot. Let's taste it. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. It tastes really, really good. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's what the bottom of this piece looks like. Oh, it's still hot. But not bad. Not a failure. Just not as much a success as I really wanted. With the first pizza, made the pizza too big. <laughs> The little dome couldn't cover it completely. There was no airspace around the pizza, so the heat coming up from the pan couldn't circulate and properly or even have a chance of evenly baking the top of the pizza. So what we did is make the same dough, split it in half, and then we can have two personal size pizzas that are about nine, nine and a half inches in diameter. And that works great. It allows extra space under the dome and around the pizza for the temperature for the heat to come around. It's about 270 degrees Fahrenheit on the outside rim. Temperature inside is right around 300 degrees and the pizza's looking beautiful. The pizza dough recipe calls for it to be cooked at 450 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. We're 10 minutes in, around the rim is about 300 degrees. We're at about 314 at the edge of the pizza. It's probably hotter underneath. All right, it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna check and see how the pizza's doing. Pizza's been on for about 20 minutes. Let's see how the bottom of the crust is doing.
awesome sauce. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Wonderful. The hardest thing for me to do with this burner is to keep a relatively even temperature. That's probably the case with a lot of them. But this is a high pressure burner. It's a 100,000 beat to use. It's made to really be on high more than it is to be on the lower end of its scale. So sometimes the wind blows it out. It didn't happen that much on the second pizza, so that was good. It looks like we can have it warm enough to actually cook. Um, more and more reasonable temperatures as well as to be able to use it at other times if we want to deep fry a turkey or something like that. Right about 450 degrees, the pan, the uh, cast iron pan, starts to smoke just a little. So I've seen visually, as well as using the temperature gun, that when that smoke starts to come off of the griddle, that you can back off the temperature a little just to get it to equalize and try not to get it any or much hotter than that. And then that's a good time for starting to cook the pizza. So first pizza was really disappointed, really kind of afraid and made a really big mistake. Second pizza, happy. And now for a quick look at the pricing of each of the items. Here are the prices at the time of this video. The single burner stove by Gas One, 100,000 BTUs, $67. The 14 inch griddle pizza pan baking pan by Lodge is $46. The Cuisinart melting dome is $25. The pricing for the bags is the Camp Chef bag that we got to put the single burner stove in is $38. And the one that we got to put the griddle in is $40. The three cooking parts of the kit, the burner, the cast iron pan, and the melting dome come to a total of $138. If you add the two bags, that bumps it up to 216. We will have a full review about this burner coming up. So down in the comments below, let us know what you think about this kit, especially the three main pieces, the burner, the pan, and the melting dome. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.